All right, right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third reaction in Exploring Chemical Changes um, Laboratory. So we are going to start by taking three milliliters of our universal indicator. It's right here. I'm just pouring that in. And it's just a very, very light green color. To that, I'm going to add 10 milliliters of magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate is just a clear liquid. Um, it's an Epsom salt. You can have it in your house. Um, so nothing special here. Just a clear liquid of magnesium sulfate. We pour that in. Um, and to that, we are going to add 10, mil 10 milliliters of sodium carbonate. And here's our sodium carbonate. Again, it's just a clear liquid, and we're going to add it. Now, I'm going to add it pretty slowly, and I want you to watch the test tube. You can see that little swirl. That is a precipitate that's forming. And as I add more, you can see it. So what we're getting in here is it's turning a little bit of a purplish color and you're getting a precipitate forming. I'm gonna put the rest in and you're gonna see that this clear liquid is now very cloudy. Um, there is a precipitate in there and it has a little bit of a purplish color if I hold it on um, this piece of paper behind it. So it went from that pale green to a little bit of a purple color. It's cloudy because there's a precipitate in there. So there are questions for you to answer on your handout. Make sure you answer those questions before we move on to the next reaction.